In this video, we're going to talk about recommended preparation when you're approaching the CSWP Mole Tools exam. First and foremost, you need to know where your tools are located and how to use them. Don't get hung up by using only tools located on the Mole Tools toolbar. As I've shown you throughout this example, there are several tools on the Evaluate and Surfaces tab that you need to make use of in certain situations. You may not be tested on those during the exam, but it's important to understand where they are, how to use them, and when they could benefit you. We covered all the tools that you'll need to know inside of the exam, but it's important to know that different examples need to be approached in a different manner. So make sure you're comfortable with this example that we've gone through, but then let's take a look at some other examples that are available to you. If you go to the help menu in SolidWorks, down to SolidWorks tutorials, and into the advanced techniques section, there's actually two tutorials in here that are gonna be good practice for you. There's a mold design tutorial. This walks you through taking a part that SOLIDWORKS has created for you, adding some geometry to it, and creating the mold. This is a good example to go by because the geometry is not necessarily as straightforward as some of the stuff that we've shown you. The next tutorial that's very handy is molded product design. Now this is a great example where you can create a molded part, but not actually create the mold in the tutorial. And the reason this is important is because you can take everything you've learned in our example and the built-in example inside SOLIDWORKS and apply that to a new part. This will really give you a good idea if you're ready or not to take the exam. Once you've gone through those, you can go to the SOLIDWORKS website and take a look at the information they provided for you. They make note that the exam is 90 minutes long and they also tell you some of the tools that you'll be tested on. We covered all these tools inside the context of our example, but again, each part is going to be approached a little different. Take a look at all the tools, make sure you're comfortable with them, and then download the sample exam. Along with the sample exam, there are several parts that come with it. These will help you work with imported parts and creating the geometry based on the questions that SOLIDWORKS is asking you. The questions asked are going to be very representative of the kinds of questions you'll see during the exam. We'll talk about this exam a little bit more later, but it's important that you go through this on your own and that you're comfortable with the process of using these imported parts, working with geometry you're not necessarily familiar with, and making your way through the mold tools. After you've taken a look at all the examples available to you, and you've worked through all of the different options for your imported surfaces, dealing with draft, analyzing your parts, then why don't you go ahead and make your own part? It can be as simple, as complicated as you want, but then try to create your own mold based on your own geometry. Again, this is only to make sure that you're familiar with the tools available to you. Once you've done that, I think you'll be ready to take the exam.